It's the Wilk Report. I'm Michael Wilk, coming to you from Cleveland, Ohio. Got some disturbing news concerning a member of the Star Trek fan community. Voice actor Vic Minona, creator of the fan series Star Trek Continues, which ran for 11 full-length episodes, some of which were filmed after the imposition of CBS's 15 guidelines, basically banning fan films, uh, and starring former Star Trek actors, including John Delancey, who played Q on Star Trek The Next Generation, Deep Space Nine, and Voyager, stands accused of inappropriate behavior with fans, including minors. According to BoutingIntoComics.com, Dragon Ball Super Broly voice actor Vic Minona responds to allegations of inappropriate behavior. Uh, January 16th, the latest Dragon Ball motion picture, Dragon Ball Super Broly, debuted in American theaters. The film, which introduces popular fan favorite character Broly in the current canon, features the voice talents of Sean Schemmel playing Goku, Christopher Sabat playing Vegeta, Chris Ayas playing Frieza, and Vic Minona as the titular Broly. In the lead-up to the film's premiere, allegations of inappropriate behavior began to surface against Minona. These allegations claim that Minona made frequent sexual advances toward multiple underage fans, with some allegations dating back as early as 2009-2010. Accusations of homophobia and regularly abusive behavior towards con staffers were also leveled towards the prominent voice actor. In response to these allegations, on January 20th, Mignona posted a public statement to his Twitter account. This is heartbreaking. Over the last few days, a number of comments and allegations have been voiced on social media. I'd like to share my thoughts. Homophobic? No. Some of my dearest friends are members of the LGBTQ community, including several that I brought into my production family on Star Trek Continues. This is blatantly false statement. I said many years ago that I didn't think a particular character I voiced was gay, contrary to what some fans believed, not because it matters to me at all, but because I was told this was the case. I also elected not to autograph uh, Yaoi, uh, however you pronounce that, uh, not because I'm homophobic, but because I didn't wish to sign material that was not canon. Anti-Semitic? I couldn't even grasp where this was coming from until someone pointed me to a moment years ago when it, I was in a panel and referred to a bunch of noise coming from another room jokingly as a holocaust. As I said then, it was a metaphor for Armageddon, death, and mass destruction, but not the holocaust. Could I have chosen a different word? Sure, in retrospect I could have, and of course I am sorry that it offended anyone. I sincerely apologize to any convention staff member who ever felt I was anything less than kind and grateful to be included in their event. Unknown to most staffers, contractual arrangements made in advance with cons were occasionally not honored when I arrived, and that made me frustrated. That does not excuse making anyone feel badly, and I am deeply sorry. I would also like to sincerely apologize to anyone who ever felt my interaction with them, a hug or a kiss on the cheek or forehead, was crossing the line. Never in a million years would it be my intent to make anyone feel uncomfortable. Rather, it was meant to show gratitude or support. I come from an affectionately expressive family where such displays are commonplace, but I understand that not everyone feels the same way. Hence, I will not be interacting in the same way with fans in the future. Understand, this is the climate we live in, and this is how it has to be. To my fans who ask me for hugs, etc., I'm sorry, but please know that I am no less grateful to or supportive of you. Finally, any allegations of sexual harassment, sexual assault, or most disturbingly, pedophilia are completely and utterly false. My heart weeps for anyone who endures a violation of this kind, so to be accused of harming others in this way, I have no words. Following this statement, many fans began to tweet with the hashtag KickVic in order to bring awareness to the multitude of stories being shared. Others stood in staunch defense of McNona with a counter hashtag I stand with Vic being used to show support. However, support for McNona was less than organic, as leaked screenshots revealed that McNona was instructing his private fan club, Risen Bull Rangers, to actively combat the accusations on his behalf. Some fans claim that McNona's conduct is an open secret within the anime industry. In 2011, a Tumblr blog titled Dear Vic McNona, spelling and other VAs, was created in an effort to chronicle stories from the public regarding McNona's actions. Dragon Ball Super Broly co-star Sean Schimmel was also publicly liking numerous tweets featuring the KickVic hashtag. When approached by Polygon for comment, Funimation, the U.S. distributor for Dragon Ball Super Broly, declined to issue a statement. 
So let's check out the link here. This became public tonight, Vic directly instructing his fan club to defend him online. And this is from Kaylin uh, Saucedo. Yeah. And Anime News Network. Let's go ahead and quote from here. For many, conventions are a weekend of fandom and freedom. Parents can drop off a small group of friends, assured that they'll get their coveted autographs and UFO catcher plushies. It's a place to laugh loudly, be unabashedly nerdy, and interact with the creators and actors in what's assumed as a safe environment. Adults and kids alike are there to check off their must-sees, but while everyone is running off to the next panel or a cosplay meetup, who is making sure the starstruck, awkward teenagers are engaging with guests appropriately and vice versa? Where is the line for appropriate guest and attendee behavior, and what should be done when it's crossed? These questions came to the forefront of social media these last weeks as rumors about convention guests and staff interactions with minors stopped being whispered and instead were shouted. A Twitter thread posted on January 16th accused dub voice actor Vic Mignona of homophobia, rude behavior, and most concerning, making unwanted physical advances on female congoers. The thread quickly spread with over 4,000 retweets at the time of this writing and over 400 comments, many relaying their own negative experiences, including unwanted and unsolicited physical affection from the Full Metal Alchemist voice actor. As with any claims involving a person with a moderate fan following, McNona's supporters were quick to attempt to discredit individuals' claims or at the very least dispute the voice actor's intentions behind kissing or hugging attendees unannounced. And yeah, there's... Uh, Pictures posted, uh, some of the convention goers were as young as 14. There's also a 15 year old who uh, made claims. So yeah, this is looking pretty bad. I mean, yeah. But yeah, th th this is not looking good. I, I mean, a lot of this is like, could be simply misinterpretation. Others, uh, yeah, it, it doesn't seem. Uh, I, I mean, you know, I, I'm loath to jump on the bandwagon accusing him because, you know, again, a lot of these pictures, you also don't know the context in, in which they were taken. Uh, yeah, so. Uh, This is, yeah, looking pretty bad. And here's a larger shot of the statement he made. So, in the statement, Vinoda compares the kissing scene in the above photos to the same kind he shares with family members and says he will no longer engage in such behavior with congoers. He then apologizes to his fans that he will no longer be able to hug or kiss them if requested. He also denies any allegations of sexual harassment, sexual assault, pedophilia, homophobia, and or anti-Semitism. Allegations of homophobia have followed Mignona for years, and some argue it's simply backlash due to his openness about his Christian faith. The voice actor has held convention panels to serve as a Sunday service and recorded his own gospel CDs. The above incident about a character's sexuality re refers to a Faye D. Florite from Clamps uh, Tsubasa, Reservoir Chronicle anime series. Mignona's statement suggests that he was informed by someone involved with the series that Faye is not homosexual, and he told an audience this at a panel at Toronto Anime Con in 2007. He has also made the decision to not sign any Yai fan art because it isn't canon, although Minona has signed numerous fan works in the past. Regardless of these specific points of contention, discussion of... Uh, Yoi and Yuri was banned outright from the Risen Bull Rangers chat room and forums. The Yahoo group's page states no posting adult content. This too is self-explanatory. Sick. Uh, Vic is a Christian and does not approve of uh, Yaoi, Yuri, Hentai, etc. If you're a fan of Vic, you wouldn't know what that. We're not saying you must clean up your life because of that, just that it has no place here. End of discussion. 
A Jewish fan of McNona's work on Persona 3 left his autograph line feeling judged in 2010. The 19-year-old lined up with a replica of uh, Junpei's hat for McNona to sign and also grabbed a copy of his fan music CD. When their turn came, McNona allegedly asked them why they chose a fan music CD but not any of his Christian music CDs. The fan apologized and stated they were Jewish. According to them, McNona stared at them up and down and responded by saying, well, we can change that. Uh, yeah, this is looking pretty bad. Uh, I will keep you posted about new information that comes in. You know, I, I've got to wonder what Alec Peters thinks of all this. He and Vic have been rivals for many years. Uh, Mignota had previously attacked Alec Peters and Axenar. Uh, following the lawsuit by CBS to shut down XNR. And uh, Peters, understandably, was upset by that, and uh, has there's no love lost between these two guys. So uh, if I get any more info, I will let you know. But in the meantime, if you want to hear more, Hit the subscribe button and the bell icon to receive notifications whenever we upload new content. And if you want to support the channel, feel free to head over to our Patreon and subscribe star pages. Become a supporter. Uh, you will get the rewards listed in the side columns and you will help improve the quality of the podcast. This is Michael Wilk for The Wilk Report saying, take care. Good night. I'm out.